Okay, hi everyone. In this video, we are going to walk through um, uh, GC one H two math uh, tutorial nine chapter on functions. All right, and uh, in this video, we're going to go through two very specific examples from this tutorial in section C. All right, and uh, it will involve the concepts of a uh, piecewise function, periodic function, and even odd and uh, even function. Okay, so without further ado, let us jump right into the question. Okay, so we are currently in question 22. So this, obviously, you can see this is a past year question. All right. Now, and in this past year question over here, uh, okay, you have a periodic function fx over here, right, from 0 to 2 and 2 to 4. Okay, and then they have two different rules over here. And then, uh, so this first concept is the piecewise function concept, right? So the graph having two parts, okay? And over here, right, this fx equals to fx plus 4, this concept over here is a concept of periodic function, right? So this means that we will repeat this with a period of 4, okay? And it's for all real values of x. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to evaluate what is f27 plus f45, okay? So with this, right, let's take a look at how are we going to do it. So F27, right? Now, because you see 27 is outside of this range between 0 to 4. Uh, however, we can link up F27 using this formula over here, right? So 27, right, is equals to 23 plus 4. So technically speaking, it is actually equals to F23, right? So technically, you can take four steps forward or four steps back and then you still have the same value. So what am I going to do is I'm going to go back so that I can fall within this range, okay? So 23 minus 4, we get 19, right? Minus again, we're all the way, right? You we, if you continue, we get F3, right? Then F3, right, means that we're going to look at this function here, this sub-function here, because 3, right, is in this range, okay? So I will sub 3 over here, 2x minus 1, so this is going to be equals to 5, okay? Next one, we'll look at uh, F45, Okay, so f45, right, we also do the same strategy with minus 4 because of the period 4. So minus 4, we get 41. Minus 4 again, 37. Then we can do all the way until we get f1. Okay, so what is f1? Now, let's take a look. We have 0 to 2, right? So 1 will follow in this particular function. So it will be substituting 1 over here. So 7 minus 1, so this is going to be equals to 6. Altogether, f27 plus f45 equals to 11. 5 plus 6 is 11. All right, so the next step that we're going to do is we're going to sketch the graph for this negative 7 to 10, and we're going to sketch the, the whole thing. Now, what, what I want to do first, or what is the strategy to do first, is that we're going to take this, and we're going to draw out the piecewise part first. After that, we're going to furnish the uh, periodic part, okay? So let's do the main part first from 0 to 4. Okay, so in the axis below, now from 0 to 4, right? Now, first and foremost, this over here is a negative uh, parabola. So it's original is like this, right? But for 0 to 2, we only want this part portion. Okay, now then for 2x minus 1, this is obviously a straight line. So subbing in 2 and subbing in 4, right? We actually get the value right at the bottom over there. So it actually joins up. Okay, so what happens is you get this part of the graph, right? So what we do is I'll, we substitute 0, we substitute 2, we substitute 4, just to double check these values over here. Okay, so this is the first part. And then the next part is because we are replicating this for period of 4, right? So from 0 to 4 is one period, right? So this means that 4 to 8 will get another period. 0 to negative 4, we get another period, right? So by right, you have 4 to negative 8, but we're going to stop at 7. By right, we have 8 to 12, so we're going to stop at 10. So the only graph that we're going to see, right, is going, we are going to see graph within this region. And what is the concept? It's just that we are going to repeat the graph. So we just copy and paste this graph over here, right? So we're going to copy paste like this, okay? Then last but not least, let's check what are the endpoints when... Um, uh, x equals to negative 7, we get this value slightly below this 7. And when x equals to 10, we get this value 3. Okay, so it's a matter of subbing in, right, and finding this value over here. Then last but not least, double check that the we have equal sign over here. So we will be shading these two things, shading these two circles over here, okay, to include x equals to 7 and 10. 
Okay, so that's all for uh, question 22. Let's quickly move on to question 23. Alright, so in this next question over here, right, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, one of the past year qu uh, question, right? So over here, we have uh, x, uh, fx defined in a piecewise manner from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 3. Okay, so, so far, this is uh, what is being defined. So we have 4x, which is a straight line graph, and we're going to have 3 minus x squared, which is going to be a, a quadratic graph. Okay, quadratic graph like this. Okay, now, the next thing that we're going to point out is this thing over here, right? So this thing over here tells us that this is actually an odd function, right? So technically, what is an odd function? An odd function behaves like this. So one of the example for odd function is sine x because sine x, right? Okay, sorry. Because sine of negative x, right, is actually equals to negative sine x, okay? So be this behavior is actually an odd function, right? Uh, technically speaking, right, the graph of y equals to x is also an odd function, okay? So odd function means that um, there's going to be rotational symmetry like this, lah, okay? And even for the x cubed graph, right? x cubed, right, is another odd function because there's going to be rotational symmetry over here, okay? So that's one, one trait in which you can identify an odd function, okay? Now, the other way to identify the odd function is through the definition, lah. Okay, f negative x is equals to negative fx. Now, what is an even function if you have odd function, right? Even function is actually functions like this, right? So, the left-hand side and right-hand side are actually the same. So, this tells us that it's actually sym symmetrical along the vertical axis, okay? So, that's the first thing to take note, uh, second thing to take note. Third thing to take note is once more, we have another periodic function. The period, period is for every 6, Okay? Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to show that f4 equals to negative 1, okay? Now, so f4, right? Now, once again, f4 is not within this list of domain from 0 to 3. So what we can do first is we can link this up with our um, periodic function, the concept, okay? So minus 6, right, actually will give us f of minus 2. Okay, now f of minus 2, right, very interesting because this is an odd function. So technically speaking, you can bring the negative out and it will be f2. Okay, so f of negative 2 is equals to negative of f2. Okay, so this is something like 2 cubed, lah, right? So 2 cubed is 8, negative 2 cubed is negative 8, right? So f of negative 2 is equals to negative f2. Okay. So over here, so the using the property of odd function, then what is f2? f2 we can finally put inside this one over here. So put the 2 here, we'll get negative 1. Okay, and because of this, right, we want to sketch the graph of y equals fx for negative 6 to 9. Okay, so let us take a look at what we draw first. Okay, so this function again, right, from 0 to 1, okay, this is going to be a straight line graph, 0 to 1. Okay, and then from 1 to 3, right, is a parabola, but where is the parabola actually? The center of the parabola is actually over here. The vertex is there, but we are only going to draw until the vertex. Okay, so this is defined for 0 to 3. Okay, now the next thing to draw is we are going to draw this uh, odd function. Okay, so as an odd function, right, it actually has a rotational symmetry, right? So for example, right, uh, F1, right? Okay, f1 is going to be equals to 4, correct? f1 equals to 4. So, f of negative 1 over here is negative 4, correct? So, f of 1 is equals to negative f of negative 1. Or maybe more like f of negative 1 is equals to negative f of 1, like that. And then this one is actually negative 4. This one is actually 4, right? This one over here is just 4, right? Something like that. Okay, so technically speaking, you can think of the numbers like this, or the other way to think of is it actually has a rotational symmetry. Rotate 180 degree over here. Okay, so this one will rotate here. Now, this old thing also will rotate up to this point over here. Okay, rotate 180 degree. Okay, next one we're going to fill in for all the periods from negative 6 until 9. So this is actually one period. So it's 3 to 9 will be another period. And then negative 3 to 6, right? Negative 6. This is actually half a period, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to add on this part over here, right? So this one is actually one period. 
this one is one period and then this one is half a period like that okay so that's all for question 23 all right so hopefully with these two questions right you are able to see like the graphs um, of the piecewise function and you are able to see the graphs uh, that are uh, the defined uh, periodically right so there's a periodic function attached to the graph and at the same time you also need to determine right you also need to like be very sensitive about what are odd functions and what are even functions okay can uh? all right so with this uh hopefully you go and find more information for the things that you haven't known yet uh once again i'm available for consultation uh, okay and uh hopefully you um through these videos you are able to understand what are functions and the importance of the graphs right to to express how does these functions look like with the domain and the range okay so that's all for all these videos um and hopefully um yeah see you in the next video for perhaps another chapter then okay all right that's all for functions tutorial 9